of uh, human services and family violence help us helps us to be uh, more capable of, of doing that. I think one of the things that uh, I would say clergy find challenging um, is uh, not enough resources and also thinking that we're equipped to do this um, and we're, we're not. <laughs> yeah. So what are, the, what are some of those things that clergy should know or, or even churches should know, Jeanette, that, that based on your experience so that we can help, help in these situations? Um, well, I'm just going to say that sometimes the intervention process, um, it's designed to help, but sometimes it, it, it's a painful process. Um, you know, things will come out, um, feelings will be strong and raw. Um, there may be a lot of anger when um, there's disclosures to be had, um, but those things need to be worked through. Um, second, um, victims need to be safe. Um, whatever mm -hmm. the vi whoever the victim is, that person needs to be safe, um, most paramount. Um, another thing I would say is that in um, spousal abuse or relationship abuse, that um, couples counseling is contraindicated. Um, that when you have couples that are not on that respectful same um, plane mm -hmm. of the relationship mm -hmm. and that one has more power over the other one trying to counsel couples together mm -hmm. um, the, the, the person that has the power is going to overpower that that relationship so of, of therapy so those folks need to be um, separated separated yeah. and um, counseling needs to happen separately at some point down the road um, you know often they can um, be come back together as couples but it really needs to happen um, separate in the beginning now there are some resources in the community for for people like that have that have that are being abused or that are in abusive relationships. Correct. And um, what are some of those resources? Well, um, obviously we have um, in Broome County here, and I think they um, go out the surrounding counties, we have Crime Victims Assistance Center. So anyone that's been a victim of a crime um, and spousal abuse and child abuse can be a crime as well as um, a societal um, issue. Um, they can provide um, support and counseling. Um, here, every county has a domestic violence shelter. Um, in Broome County, we have a domestic violence shelter for women, the SOS shelter. In our neighboring county of Tioga County, they do um, provide services for men who are victims. Um, so there are, are services for um, the victims if they are a, a male. Um, and beyond that, we have, um, we also have programs for um, the perpetrators of domestic violence um, through Family and Children's Society. It's called the Batterers Intervention Program, um, where they work with the person who's the perpetrator of, of the domestic violence. And it, it is a long-term commitment to therapy in that program. Mm -hmm. So, um so let's 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 uh, let's encapsulate some of this. So all of this is going to be being presented. Correct. Right. So we're we're going to be coming out at, at this at, um, at at this from multiple on multiple ways through multiple people in multiple discussions at the November eighth. Yes. November eighth um, presentation that we're going to be doing at Cornerstone Community Church, twelve thirty to four thirty, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk. Um, in greater detail, I think, than what we can do in a 26-minute mm -hmm. um, discussion here uh, about ways that we can we can help our community be safer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think ultimately that's what we're all all hoping for, and and um, and also to be a healthier community for people who um, who might be being abused, and and this would give us give us ways to um, to grow as a community to be a better and safer community mm -hmm. for children for elderly for for spouses and and so I, th I think this is a this is a great a great um, uh, topic for us to be considering it especially 
just before the holidays mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. stresses I, I, go up during the holidays. I, I know. I, it's gotta. It's gotta have have some. Uh, you know, I, the statistics I think have to prove it a little bit too, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, what happens at, at Christmas time? Um, usually, statistics go up, stress <laughs> goes up, <laughs> and financial stress goes up as well. So mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of stresses go up. Um, stress within the family, financial stress, um, that holiday stress, uh, and a lot of times the holidays are very difficult for people um, to handle as well. So yeah, because I mean, if you're if you if you are an abuser and um, and, and and that has been your 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 cycle or your story or whatever, uh, I'm almost positive that that if you have to go back home to see mom and dad, places where you've been abused in your 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 past, you've got to have like a, a spike at that moment. Mm -hmm. Don't wouldn't don't well I, I would at least see it that way. Yeah. I, it's yeah. gotta be gotta be a indication of Could that. Could be a trigger, yes. Yeah. Um, one other thing I just wanna share also about this day is, is we're hoping t to not only think about the intervention and the aftermath, but to think about the prevention. How, how can we work together to build that stronger prevention network? Um, things like um, youth groups in, in um, faith communities. Um, we'd like to partner with faith communities to, to work on healthy relationships, to work on what are those healthy dating relationships? Um, because those middle school to early high school years, that's when you know youth are really uh, thinking about those um, dating relationships, what they mean, what is healthy, um, you know, how does this feel? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And sometimes they might not have had um, maybe the best modeling on relationships. Mm -hmm. So it's important for them to, to try and figure out what is healthy, what is good. Um, so that's just an example of, of a preventive kind of um, conversation that we can have. Now I know another, another um, subject that keeps coming up at family, family violence prevention has been bullying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it would seem to me that the that the religious community should have some, some something to say about that too, right? Yes, I, I would I would say so, uh, because and, and and it all goes back to uh, what Jeanette said in in relation to the relationships, uh, respect a healthy amount of respect for um, each other, mm -hmm. um, whether you're in family or in the general community. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So respect plays is a is an important word. It is. It's a very important word. And and love, we 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 have also we've also used that word quite frequently because mm -hmm. sometimes abuse can can almost get disguised as love, can't Correct. it? Yes. And in what ways does that work? Um, well, it's very complex. Um, <laughs> you know, people tell you that um, such as in in a dating relationship. Um, somebody keeps texting you over and over again, where are you, what are you doing? As an adolescent, you can say, oh, well, they must really care about me, that's love. Well, that, no, that's a little bit beyond that, that's controlling behavior. Where are you, who are you with, who are you talking to? <laughs> um, but th that can be misconstrued as a form of love. Yeah, it's funny, I, when I, I used to be a youth pastor, and um, one of the things that uh, sometimes girls would tell me was that you know this guy, this guy um, is trying to control them, and mm. you know he's constantly, constantly um, coming after him, and and then and then as soon as as soon as they as soon as as soon as um, they, you know they put up the wall and they say you know this is going too far, he says but I love you baby, you know it's just uh, <laughs> you know as if it was some. Um, that's the key. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's the key. Yeah. And yeah, but of course, I love you. But you're, you're but you're scaring me. You know, it's, yeah. you know, and, and and not having the freedom to be able to say that to to um, to the person. You know, and feeling as if you know that that, that it's going to hurt them, or they're going to go, or they use the the whole thing where they're going to, I'm, I'm going to kill myself, or I'm going to hurt myself if you do. Another this way to control. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's a, controlling the other person's emotions. Uh -huh. um, right. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, and and it comes out sometimes in in um, in religious 
in, in, in religious communities mm -hmm. because we want to care for people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Yes, we're supposed to care for people and supposed to want to care for people, uh, but not be codependents. Right, right. Or nurture uh, relationships of, of codependency or, or, or that would lead to uh, controlling um, um, relationships. So, but yes. So let's uh, let's get that slide up there again for our, our viewers, just so that they are that they get it all into their head about when this when this uh, is taking place. We are going to be having this conference on November eighth at twelve to twelve thirty to four thirty at Cornerstone Community Church, uh, just so that everybody knows that Cornerstone is kind of at the corner of Lincoln and Maine and Maine yeah. on uh, in Endicott, yeah. and um, uh, we will be having a, a great panel. It's um, I, I say that. You know, Bill Townsend from the um, children's. from the children's home. He's going to be a sp he, on the panel. We have um, Rabbi Gol Barbara Goldman Wartell. She's a social worker. She's done a lot of work with um, with people who've been involved in domestic violence. Fruk um, is a um, uh, from the Islamic Center. Is uh, uh, works with um, orthopedic uh, as an orthopedic surgeon, but he's also very aware of things that are going in going on in our community and. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, our own Greg Johnson. And uh, Greg, of course, has been has a wide history with um, with our with um, with both UHS as working on your on the medical yes uh, ethics. medical ethics committee and, yes. and other kinds of things like that. So you you know a little bit about what you're talking about. A little bit. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. So and, and Jeanette, of course, is going to uh, lead lead us down the down the more technical path. As we as we see this other part of the panel, and you want to tell us a little bit of we have about one minute, so okay, um, we will have um, from the human services um, sector we will have Donald Bowersox, who's a deputy commissioner for services at the Department of Social Services, talking about child abuse, um, recognizing it, intervening, um, and we will have Dr. Pearl Reed Klein, who works at Catholic Charities, talk about domestic violence and the cycle of violence and interpersonal relationships. And then from Syracuse, Vera House in Syracuse, we will be having a woman named Jenny Hicks come down. She works with their elder abuse program there. Um, and we have worked closely with Vera House in the past and invite them to, to come and share some of their expertise in our community and talk about elder abuse. And all of this will, um, will help, us, help us take another step forward as far as um, understanding abuse, um, being able to help our communities, help our people be safer, yes. and then also um, work on ways that, that the religious community can help prevent um, violence in, in families and yes. so these are all things that we hope to have that day yes. so again uh, we've come to another end of the uh, of an encounter episode we hope that that you have a great uh, a great day and that uh, we've been able to help you uh, think about some things in a different way have a great day